Hi everyone, this is Shannon. I'm one of the educators in the ICU department here at Baylor St. Luke's. And today we're going to do a video series on the code cart. So the first video here, we're just going to walk you through everything that is on the front, back, and sides of the code cart so that you can understand the different components that make it up. So the first and probably most important piece of equipment that we have here is the defibrillator. Uh, we're currently using the LifePak 20s, so you want to make sure that this LifePak is plugged in at all times. And whenever you grab the code card to run to a patient's room, make sure you remember to unplug it. Behind here we have our suction. So this is the machine that creates the suction, and then of course you need to have a canister on the side, and this tube should be hooked up so that it's fairly ready to go whenever you enter the patient's room. On the other side over here, we have our box that contains our rocuronium, which is a paralytic medication that may be needed when we go to intubate, intubate the patient during the code if necessary. We have a sharps container right here. On the other side, we have our bag with all of our respiratory equipment. So there's an ambu bag in here. There's also an extra pair of defibrillation pads, and then there's some suction tubing. We have an oxygen canister on the side. That oxygen canister is very important to make sure that it's full, and that's one of the checks that needs to be done daily when the code card is being checked. Finally, we have our red binder. So this red binder sits on the top of all of the crash carts. This is going to have your documentation. So if you have a code blue, you'll document on the sheet provided. It also contains checklists that need to be completed every 24 hours to make sure that the cart is in working order. And it will also contain an extra pair of defibrillation pads that you can use and access very easily when you enter the patient's room and need to apply the pads. On the back of the code cart, we also have an extra packet that contains documentation. So if you run out or there isn't any in the binder, you can go back here and you'll see that there is extra code sheets and there's also extra forms that can be filled out whenever you're checking the crash cart daily. Additionally, there is a piece of paper that has all of the contents of each of the drawers on the crash cart, if you're wondering what is in each one. Finally, we have a backboard on the back of the crash cart. As you know, as soon as you enter the patient's room, we need to be placing that backboard underneath the patient to be able to provide high quality CPR. I'm now gonna show you how to open the crash cart. We have two different types of crash carts at our facility. So we'll be demonstrating on the first one here. This one just has one lock on the side. When you go to open it, you'll just twist the lock open and take it off like this. From there, you peel open this side door and then you'll have access to be able to open all of the drawers. 